of the types of problems that I'm seeing gamers have in the gaming community is truly wild. I wish I could say psych right now, but guys, I got I got a video that I want to share with you guys. Don't I always have a video to share with you guys? I always have a video to share with you guys. Like the video if you just want good games. If you just want good games, dislike if not. Because listen, man, right now we're seeing a massive WW5 happening. We apparently got Biden versus Justin Trudeau happening. Justin Trudeau being eight thoughts, right? He's in Canada. And we also have blame Trudeau to Biden. So I'm, I'm seeing my superheroes fight right now. It's Biden versus Justin Trudeau happening in the sixth, right? I wish I could say psych right now guys let's actually dive right into it roll it uh, my last Wait video did quite well i think it's time we do a follow-up with x defiant here a few days yeah. after the launch and i want to kind of update you guys on how i'm feeling but also i want to cover the ridiculousness of the call of duty fanboy yeah. community these guys are so fucking upset and it's just yeah. I, I don't even know how to say this other than like it's just, it's just brain rot yeah. and i'm not trying damn bro like my boy my guy biden is just gaslighting justin trudeau like what Yo, Clown Father? Oh, my bad. Uh, the Call of Duty Father blamed Trota. Uh, yeah, Clown Father, uh, eight thoughts. He has named Blame Truth the Clown Father. I'm trying to be mean. In fact, I'm going to be way nicer than I probably should this video, but okay. uh, I got a lot I want to get off my chest. First and foremost, X Defiant. I still feel that it's a great game. I am actually liking it more two days after than I did initially. And this okay. is a pretty crazy accolade. And I'm <laughs> proud of the team here. X Defiant hits 1 million players within 2.5 hours of launch, yeah. becoming Ubisoft's fastest growing game reportedly. COD fanboys fuming over that. We'll get into that later. The only real complaints I have so far is that weapon leveling is a bit oh, slow, man. but they're doing a double weapon XP thing and those stack- He's just gaslighting it thoughts, bro. Yo, Ed Thoughts, Justin Trudeau, I need to see you make a video and rip on the homie, bro. Like, I need to, yeah. Like, because Sega's like, making problems out of nowhere, man. Like, the Call of Duty fans are hating on X-Defined, X-Defined hating on the Call of Duty fanboys. It's like, what we talking about? Yeah, like, listen, I love Call of Duty as well, bro. I love X no, I, I have not played X Defined, that's right. Bruh. Uh so far, so far. But my point here is that bro, like if X Defined is good or bad, that don't matter. Like let's hold that this game succeed, which means that it's gonna mean that we have another FPS game to play. Don't you guys wanna see good games? Right? I'm not talking about you guys watching the video. Come here. Let me show you some quiches. Uh, no homo, or I should say full on homo. Bro. But but like my point here is that dog, like just focusing on the downfall of x define or wishing downfall on x define that's like different kind of low i'm sorry but like dog like y'all sickers wanna see like a better call of duty right i want to see a better call of duty if you want to see a better call of duty or call of duty being good dog like we have to hope that there are also good fps games because that's going to create competition competition is going to make call of duty better in the long run right and that all, and if X Define is good, then Sega's gonna have more options. Sega's gonna be able to enjoy more games. But I guess Sega's gonna be Sega's, man. Wait for this. With the double weapon XP tokens, you get four times weapon XP. So I think that's gonna be a moot issue if they just, you know, keep doing that. Okay. Other than that, I, I really find myself wanting extended mags. You're gonna see a lot in this gameplay, me dying just because I run out of ammo. But that okay. goes back to the weapon leveling thing. I'll be playing a lot this weekend just to get the double weapon XP and hopefully mm. level a bunch of stuff up. But I mean, the game works. I, I don't know what else to say other than the game launched, like finished, it works, it's stable. I've encountered no bugs in like nine hours of playtime. Uh -huh. I, I don't know hours? what to tell you guys. It's a great game. No. <laughs> yeah, okay, and I'm reading your guys' comments. Definitely let me know your take uh, for sure. Yeah, it, it, he did his first review the other day, and he said that yeah, the game is amazing. Just after after playing like uh, one game, and, and Justin Trudeau, it thoughts he actually like got pretty like uh, upset, and he has his reasonings, and his reasonings were right. He was basically saying that dog like this game sucks first of all. But the homie blame truth Biden, he's saying the game is good just by playing one game. And I understand that argument. Like, imagine like playing one game and be like, yeah, bro, this game is the best, bro. This game. <laughs> okay, now he up the the, the 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 gameplay time and he played it for nine hours. Okay, fair, fair. And, and just in truth, oh, oh my bad. Uh it, it thoughts, okay. Bruh. If you're watching this video, bro, like I love ya, man. I love ya. He made his video not uh, not long ago the other day, and, and basically it thoughts was saying, bro, like uh Skizzlax, if you call me Justin Trudeau. One more time, I'm gonna take first flight down in the morning, come to Montreal, and give you that BBC treatment. Something like that, bro. Like, it thoughts you really? I thought we were homies. You're trying to be more than just homies? 
You're trying to be more than just homies. Come on, man. Like, I thought you were my homie, man. Like, come on, man. What are we talking about, man? You really gonna do that? Man, like, I thought we were homies, bruh. Not only is it a great game, but the communication- I, I, I love you though, no homo, but like, damn, bruh. ...and the transparency from the devs is- it's simply unmatched. And this isn't me being a fanboy, this is not me saying, like, uh, X Defiant is the greatest game ever, but the level of respect that the X Defiant devs, specifically Mark Rubin, have for the player base, it's unmatched. I want you guys just to look at this real quick before I get into the meat and potatoes here. This is unheard of in the okay. Call of Duty community. It just straight up is. X Defiant Update says, Petition to fix hit registration in X Defiant, who's with me? Mark Rubin replies and says, You don't need a petition, it's something we're working on. I personally haven't really noticed any issue with the hit detection, or at least nothing like egregious. Bum but uh, Bum if they're improving that, you know, it's nothing but a good thing. Yeah. Uh, this guy says, Hey, Mark, do you. Yo, Infinity Tar devs would never. Infinity Tar devs would literally like piss on that guy. Like, they would be like, Yeah, bro, you want that? What'd you want, huh? What'd you want, bro? Yeah, yeah, like Infinity Tart. I swear to God, bro. Like Infinity Tart would be like, okay, let me, let me just. Yeah, this is why my non-existing dog loves to bite people. <coughs> Infinity Tart would be like another. Le let me drop another. <laughs> you know that, that. You know that's true. You know that's true. You think it would be possible to make double XP timers only count down while in a game? Yeah. And Mark says yes. The fix for that is coming in an upcoming patch, probably season one. Oh, mm. but it gets even better. This kind of funny honesty is just all throughout X Defiant with its updates. Uh, they say sometimes players loading into the practice zone would spawn outside the world yeah. in a hellscape, and now they probably will not. <laughs> That's just, I don't know. Everything about this so far, everything about X Defiant so far has me giddy. And I'm not, I'm not even trying to be like a, a fanboy. I'm not trying to be overly excited here, but it has me literally giddy. Unfortunately, good things can't just exist in a vacuum here. I have to deal with some of the dumbest comments and tweets yeah. I have read in my life. Oh, no. I will cover those. Please, please, pop up, please. Okay, I, why are you gaslighting my man? Justin, or not Justin Trudeau, uh, Ed Thoughts, why? Just why, just tell me one reason. Just give me one reason why you are gaslighting my brother like that, bro. Like, can't we just live in peace? But but I understand, like, it's it's all, only been the homie, uh, eight thoughts that have been, like, trying to call you. Uh, but you want to talk, bro. You want to talk. He just want to talk. Like, Justin Trudeau just want to talk. Biden, come on, bro. Like, pick up the phone. Pick up the damn phone and answer. Answer the phone, bro. Answer the call. Yeah, like it thoughts is just trying to uh, get Blame Truth, the clown, fa the, the Call of Duty father, to respond. But Blame Truth is not picking up the call. It's like, yeah, bro. Like I hate it when my superheroes fight, bruh. I hate it, man. I hate it here, bruh. Like, like, After like the video if you agree, bruh. Like a brief word from this video sponsor. Stick around. You are not gonna. Let's yeah, uh, 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 looks like, oh, oh, damn, that's nice, that's nice, uh, got a desk, okay, 60%, 60%, they're probably gonna up, double the price and then give you a 60% discount, guys, don't fall for it. Yourself a nice, uh, E7 desk, C7 chair from Flex Spot, fantastic product, seriously, absolutely love them. So, the, uh, the meat and potatoes here, the, the comments I have read lately, guys, I, I, you guys gotta understand that he also did love that retweet LED helmet as well. <laughs> <laughs> he did love that at one point till Justin or, or uh, A Thoughts uh, uh, started to like pick him apart over that retweet of it because like yeah like A Thoughts uh, no disrespect first of all I love the homie I love uh, all my homies that I don't know why am I even gonna mention this but like yeah the the top of the head of uh, A Thoughts there is no roof on top of his head so. <laughs> I think that's why he didn't like when Blame Truth uh, promoted that re <laughs> retweet helmet. Yeah, I understand. I, I I understood that, but like, damn, homie. Damn, homie. All right, let's get back to it. It's better if I just show you. Let's not even okay. lead into it. Let's actually just show you some screenshots I have taken off of Twitter. But, but thoughts does look like a stud. I have to agree. I have to agree. He don't need... He's like six feet tall. And he claims to be black from the waist down. That's what he claims, so. And we're going to get into more stuff I've just seen throughout the community and discuss it because it gets really, really stupid really fast. Okay. I actually, okay. Th this is a real comment. It's going to look like a troll. This is a real comment I received yesterday. All okay? right. Let's On change Twitter. the ambiance. X Defiant <laughs> sucks without SBMM. <laughs> Pistols is horrible. A fucking deagle takes four or five shots. Like, what the fuck? It's a magnum pistol. 
So many sweats, yet it's my first day on the game. $70 for Founders, but barely has any value versus Call of Duty with theirs. It's better. Uh, stay away from my dog, first and foremost, Tim. Secondly, I... I disagree. Disagree with all that. There are a lot of people right now that have been gaslit by Call of Duty. It makes them think they are way better than they actually are. See, the, the system, the, the SBMM system, it not only punishes good players and like ruins their experience and makes things laggy and puts them against clones of themselves yeah, and cheaters holy. and whatnot. It not only punishes you for getting better, it flat out fucking lies to you about how good you actually are. That Never have I ever thought that Sek is gonna be saying that, yeah, bro, like, skill-based matching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never thought that Sek is gonna be like, yeah, bro, skill-based, no skill-based matching, it sucks. That kind of goes to show you, like, how many people have been protected by skill-based matching. And I guess Activision was speaking their truth when they said that we need skill-based matchmaking because uh, otherwise they're not gonna see that same retention because so many people... Yeah, it, it protects the new players, it protects the noobs. Yeah, but, 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 yeah, it'd be what it'd be, but, but it's also more than that UMM, right? That's all, its goal is to push people to their microtransaction shop, get them to buy the King Kong $80 bundle and all that. It, it's very, it, it's, it's satanist, uh, satanist, is that how they would say? Uh, it, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it, it's devilish in nature, bruh, like, that, that's, but they want to say, like, skill-based management now is good, bruh. That is, I mean... That is a double-edged sword if I have ever heard of one. People like this okay. saying like, ah, oh, it takes too many shots to kill people. Ah, oh, it's so sweaty. Like, nah, dude, you just fucking suck. And, and I'm sorry, but Call of Duty is a casino. When you are out of the casino and you're actually working for your money, you know, like, yeah, it's, it's a lot different, we'll just say. We'll use that damn. comparison. Nero actually said this, and, uh, I mean, he's been seeing it too. This is not an isolated incident by any means. The amount of people saying SBMM is a good thing after playing X Defiant is wild. The stats people are putting up aren't that crazy. People just forgot what games without SBMM were yeah. like. The numbers I post in X Defiant are nearly identical to old to CODs old before SBMM crazy. took over. I, I just the, the cut no skill based match freaking means like you're gonna get real lobbies and sometimes you're gonna do really really poor when the other team members are actually like good skilled uh, members or players rather R right uh, and sometimes you're gonna be having good lobbies where you're gonna drop like 50 kills with like two deaths or zero deaths right Unlike these artificial inflated uh, skill based matchmaking lobbies with with like algorithm pumping you up or uh, demoting you or promoting you or all that crap, right? So yeah, I'm I'm in the favor of no skill based matchmaking. Now, it thoughts also did say that skill based matchmaking or UMM removing that w uh, is not gonna make the game likable, which I absolutely agree with b because it's it's true, right? Removing skill based matchmaking and UMM alone is not gonna make people love your game. It's one of the biggest factor and of course skill based matching should not be in the games right but the point that he was making that that resonates with me is that you he never said that but i know that's what he means um, maybe or maybe not but i think that's what he means is that content over skill based matching and that's the part i agree with like first of all you gotta make your game good okay you gotta make good game replayable maps okay good maps equal more replay value therefore replay maps right replayable maps you need to make sure your game is good first of all and then when you have no skill based matchmaking you got the perfect recipe of a good game that's how it is that's how it works but call of duty right now yes 100% like gameplay solid 60 fps call of duty never had a problem in terms of that because right now i'm seeing some people say that yeah the game could have been better if the gameplay wasn't clunky now i so far i still have not played x defined because like uh, i'm working irl and making these videos just not getting en not finding enough time uh, right, but I'm, I'm probably gonna jump in on soon and try it out for sure Yeah, people that are playing they are saying that the game is clunky and, and I, I don't know whether that's true or not But I'm inclined to believe that because I'm seeing a lot more people first of all say that and secondly X define is a smaller game. Let's be real right Call of Duty has been around for way too long They, they have been making billions and billions of dollars. Let's be real. It's Activision for a reason, right? So in the gameplay aspects in the gameplay department Call of Duty or oh, absolutely we never complain about that very few people have complained about that i don't 
ever find people complaining about that 60 fps smooth gameplay because the the gameplays always have been smooth for call of duty that has been the the strongest pillar about call of duty especially like 10 years ago when all the other games were kind of clunky 30 fps call of duty was one of those games that not only had good games object objectively speaking good amount of maps and good content but on top of that it was very very smooth it was you, you you find a match and boom you're rocking it you're playing it you know you don't have to wait too long in the lobbies you are just in it hitting everybody calling in the attack chopper and all that and calling in the canine unit the swarms in the good old black ops 2 games and it was easy fast paced arcadey but fun kill streaks galore and, and no skill based matching either that was perfect you tired of multiplayer yeah hop on zombies right you tired of the zombies Hey, guess what? We also have a campaign. You finish the campaign, guess what? We got multiplayer. Guess what? We got Dead Ops Arcade. Guess what? We got this. Guess what? We got that. Guess what? New map pack is coming soon, boo-boo. So, yeah, like, it was very, very good. But now it's like, damn, homie. Damn. Odd community straight up has fucking brain rot. And it's not just it's not just the player base. It's like Activision Blizzard. They did this new marketing scheme thing for, for Black Ops 6. And they did this, they did something like this. Yeah, the About uh, nine right? years ago now. And they got a lot of flack for it because they're pretending it's like real news, but they're just putting a small little disclaimer that it's not. Yeah. In this, uh, and his name, uh, the Call of Duty father, right? Blame Truth, right? His channel name is Blame Truth, and Activision is like the truth lies. <laughs> How ironic, how ironic. I, I know like they didn't do this, uh, we're like a multi-billion dollar company didn't have their tagline off of the homie blame truth, but it's quite ironic. In this case, they're buying the front page of USA Today and the New York Post. They're, they're literally buying it and putting like their Black Ops 6, you know, marketing ploy on it. And I'm thinking in yeah. my head, who in the fuck is this for? Most people that play Call of Duty nowadays, they're like furries and 16 year olds. You know, yeah. Drake's target demographic for who he wants to date. I, I agree, but I but I still like the marketing though. I feel like that the, the marketing is miles better than Infinity Tards or any other Call of Duty marketing. I, I like this. It's more, it, it fits the theme of Black Ops. See, I, I understand like the game is for young adults. I mean, older folks also play it, don't get me wrong. Uh, and they're gonna find this maybe good, maybe not. I, I see this point. But I feel like that the, you're just kind of hating for the sake of hating it. L listen, man, like, I'm, I'm very skeptical. I'm not, like, shaking like the, the, the homie Dolly JD. Oh, I'm shaking! He has been shaking a lot based off of this game, right? Even it thought, see, he used to hate on Call of Duty, but now he loves Call of Duty all day, every day. So <laughs> he used to hate Call of Duty with that passion. I feel like that it thoughts is, the, like, the, the first dude to ever start, like, the, the uh, yeah, it thoughts if you're listening, man, that, that's gonna give you credit right there for what you deserve, man. I, I think you started the entire uh yeah you were one of the first to be on everybody's ass back in the days on i, I remember like LEA, uh t martin with like the blue jeep and all that you know that crypto not crypto like when the cs gulato yes cs gulato happened right and, and you were the first ever i think you were you were the founder of like this call of duty hate train but now you kind of uh, abandoned the trade man <laughs> Come back, bro. Come back. What's happening, man? What's happening to you, bro? Now, I mean, don't just come back for the sake of it. I mean, if you truly believe Call of Duty is good, now, okay, whatever. But, like, damn, homie, like... Uh, yeah, Sega's be feeling like that he ended up getting, like, a hundred million Call of Duty points bundle drop at his house or something. They don't even know what a newspaper is, most of them, I bet. They've probably never even picked one up. All this ad campaign is gonna do is it's gonna confuse boomers and cause them to post false information on Facebook. Maybe, That's all maybe it's right. gonna do. Your yeah. Aunt Gertrude is gonna be posting about this for two weeks, and then your, your Uncle Henry is gonna buy up all the milk and bread. What does that do? Every time it snows, boomers buy all the milk and bread. I can't make a fucking peanut butter sandwich or have some cereal. Every time it snows. I don't know why. Why is that a thing? Maybe it's a southern thing. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. back to the main topic. Okay. Sorry. Now, okay, now I see that point. It's like one of those things, right? I remember somebody did... Uh, can I say that on YouTube? Okay, let me find a way to say it. Somebody crashed the... Uh, I, know, I know, I know, I know. Somebody crashed the... The... You know what I mean? In GTA 5, and somebody actually took that real... Like, somebody said that, hey, a real video of... Uh, like uh, crashing down this is really really sad we need to do that yeah that post went viral and everybody was laughing under the post saying that bro it's it's a game bro it's, it's gta 5 bro and somebody like because somebody really did took that for real for real i remember that that was absolutely hilarious so i i get that point but i still feel like that the marketing is uh, miles better than every other call of duty it's uh it's it's unique 
And, and it's, uh, yeah, it fits the Black Ops theme for sure. So I talked about the game having a skill gap and how it's refreshing that X Defiant like rewards good play and rewards you getting better. Okay. Uh, this guy says has a skill gap, meaning bots to stomp on. So instead of getting better, you rather beat kids on summer break and ruin their gaming experience. Oh no, think of the children. What will poor Billy Goat 57 do when I shove my A12 up his ass for one match that he can just back <sighs> out of? Boo fucking who, man. Ah, sad Bruh. when you have to beat lesser opponents to have fun instead of ducking real smoke. What does man. this even mean? I, I got my ass kicked in X Defiant the other day against these like demons, and then I beat up on some people that were not very good. Just yeah. like how it was in the old days. I guess, and this is how you get better. You get better by playing against strong people, and now some people are well, with skill mesh matchmaking, you're always going to improve. I, on, at one hand, yes, you're gonna improve if you're playing with the same skill gap. Yeah, at, on one hand, you're gonna uh, really, really get better. But on the other side, you're not really gonna see the results of you getting better. Because the better you get, the sweatier lobbies you're gonna get, meaning you're gonna do worse and worse. Your performance is gonna be bad. It's like, you know, you going to the gym to get better, but... All what happened after that, you got nerfed in real time and you started doing poor, you started doing uh, worse than it had it been you never went to the gym. You, you know what I mean? But with X Defined, with no skill based mastering, sometimes you're gonna play with like real good players. So you're gonna get stomped on, but you're gonna learn from that and you're gonna try to be better the next game. And guess what? Next game, you actually did better. And the next game, you played against the noobs. And the noobs are is gonna get some real competition and they're gonna have their chance to get better. And uh, you're also gonna have a fun time. So it's like, it balances out. Natural, natural lobbies, natural lobbies, and everybody. And and, and make no mistake, I would love skill-based matchmaking in a ranked lobby. Oh, absolutely. For uh, I feel like that skill-based matchmaking has a place, but in ranked lobbies. It doesn't make any sense. You're, you're gonna face way better competition and way worse competition, but it's all gonna even out. I don't, that's why I don't understand skill-based matchmaking UMM. I mean, I do understand it. It's to get people addicted and basically rig the outcomes of matches mm. and prevent you from winning too much. But yep. like, dude, I mean, it, it ruins the entire point of video games, which is to improve, get better, and get then better. overcome the odds. Yep, you know, yep, like, yep, yep. I, I'm excited <laughs> to keep playing X Defiant because I want to get better. This is not yep. an easy game. Like, the aim assist is oh, not yeah. that strong. But guys, check out this video on the screen. We got our first look at Black Ops 6, and it, to be honest, it looking kind of all right. I mean, it looking it, it kind of busting actually. So check this out. On the left, though, we have a massive victory royale because PlayStation actually did ban. Check out these videos, and I'll see you right there.